How's it going, guys? Okay, so we got some body fill on. Uh, what I did was, there's this is the, uh, the Platinum Plus uh, body fill. That's not made to be really thick. So I went down low and I bought some white Bondo, which is, to me, a, more of a filler than anything else. And it's really hard to sand. It's not too extreme crazy, you know what I mean? It was just to get what I missed. So, I already 80 grid it. Um, I only put one look at the white stuff, knock it down, and then I got this stuff here. So, um, <clears throat> can you guys see this tape line I got going on here? See this tape? It's almost the same color as Dan Bondo, eh? Put my straight edge, found the cur curve, curve, drew a pencil line, and put some tape there. Now when I go to block, it's giving me a body line. I think I mentioned that before, I'm not sure. I think I think I did. There we go. I think you see the, anyways, there's the tape right there and there's the bottom of it. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I thought I'd turn you guys on. You guys turned on yet? <laughs> <laughs> so uh this is 120 on um foot long I guess. And um, there's no need to push really hard. Just let the let the block in the bunk in the sandpaper do its own job. And you just continue and continue. This is a high spot I already knocked it down. Because I'll be putting a really tight tight ass this on here. Put the old ruler through it and see what we got. By the time I turn you guys on. I'm trying to get this done tonight, so this way. So this way. This part's done. The thing is, now it's waiting for the uh, body fill to, uh, to, excuse me, to dry up for me. Same here, I didn't put my tape line when I put this stuff on, I just went so high. And then my next lip will be, I'll put tape here, do this here, take the tape off, let that harden up, sand it a bit, put another tape line. And like, of course, you just keep filling with your hand. This guy's giving me a hard time, so, but it feels good all the way around. So we're gonna tap, we just tap, tap, tap this guy in. And that's it. Crisscross. You can go, you know, you can go as far as like this, you know what I mean? Or even more like this. So whatever makes you feel comfortable. And it depends on the size of the, um, the bondo area you're working to. And if it's a bigger than this, I mean, I got pretty well the biggest one you could buy. And it's probably maybe double this, I'm not sure. It could be that possibility. Let's go investigate. I will be back. Oh. oh no, more than that. Uh, pretty close. A little bit more than uh, a little bit more than uh, this would actually be a really nice block for this area. Let's do it. Why did I buy this block for? I bought it when I was doing someone's vehicle and wanted a bit, I wanted a bigger block. And um, I don't know what's a better deal. If you turn around and buy them separate or buy them as a package. Because when you buy them as a package, 
you're kind of getting things you don't want. You know what I mean? Um, should we measure this guy? See how long it is? I'm trying to find a pin coat on this thing. Not on the door. Okay. This guy's got to be at least two feet. Two feet, that's what it is. Okay, so we're gonna go for it. Here we go. A bigger block is better. <laughs> too much off and then I'm killing the purpose and, uh, and then I take off my tape line and uh, my tape and then you guys can see a sharp edge and that so what I'll do is I'll put a tape line here and that See, remember I told you it's not exactly, see, it runs off. So, <clears throat> one super tight lick, so if one of the white bondo, or sorry, two of the white bondo, pardon me, and because um, I was unsure about something and I decided to uh, put another lick on and put it on the floor. And it's my first lick of uh, body fill right here of the uh, platinum and that so and I do have to go a little bit further it's still but right now I'm just concentrating on this area right here and um, right now it's really high here maybe it's not high there maybe it's just because I don't know but I'm not really going to take any more than that off so I'm going to put some tape on this part here, blow this off, and then we'll go mix some bondo. And uh, put a lick on with you guys. And then we'll just go one way lower so this way I'll get it on this panel. And then after, there might be another lick after this because I could actually turn around and do this as one lick. Hmm. How's that feel? Hmm. I think I'll go with my gut feeling and uh, do that first. It's going to be a super tight one. And then uh, I'll do a tighter one than that. That would be tomorrow's video for sure. So anyways, I had to uh, call. Um, this is what I'm using right here. Mm. Bought it as a case. $127 for a case. It's four of them. With four hardeners. So divide by two or divide by four and it's that because these go for like 52 bucks it's unbelievable apparently when you buy more so I'm not going to uh, need a whole lot of this because I just trying to get me a lip on I was going to take a walk down to Steve's today, but it is 6 o'clock, and I kind of want to, kind of want to get things rolling here for me, because that's the biggest part of the dent, and then I'll finish whatever small ones on the uh, box.
A lot of people don't like to do that. I do. The idea is to keep flipping it around and just taking small little bites like that, and then you can just stroke it like that. <laughs> stroke it like that. Stroke it! Stroke it to the left. Stroke it to the west. It's like pizza dough, man. If you like pizza and you make your own dough, Use the same knife. I don't know why all my knives are like that. But let's, uh, okay, so maybe I'm going to use the same knife. We'll just take some body fill off of it. And uh, give it a white on pants. And uh, here we go. Look at his split. And then I'll probably, you know what I mean? Because I'm trying to get it done in one shot. Not too often I'll do this, but I think I will uh, prime it, block it, see what it's all about. Okay, it's got me. When it's too much, there's never such word as too much when it comes to uh, body fill. <laughs> Put it on. Of course, you always go a little bit past your body work. Now I'm just kind of trying to make it fairly pleasable. I can't remember where my tape line is now. There's a time to stop, and that time is a couple strikes ago, strikes ago, strokes, <laughs> because now I'm just rushing her and, and trying to get To me, it's important to try to get it, especially when you get near the end, trying to get it to uh, lay down decent, because then it doesn't take as much to cut it down. Nah. So we're going to live with that. I'm going to pull this tape off. And there's another body line right there. And I'm just full body line. So there's another body line. And then... Uh, what I could do is when that finally hardens up, sand it a bit, put tape there, sand it a bit, and then um, do some more body fill. But I'm going to sand this, and then I'm just going to go over the edge, and then put my tape on. But that'll be another one. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Ciao.